Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to do this audio circle sort of thing. Let me just show you what it is and then I'm gonna talk about it. So here it is. And what's really neat about this effect is that it uses some really cool tools of After Effects. It uses audio wave, uh, audio spectrum, which takes the audio waves down here and it makes them into an image. It makes them into this stuff around here. And it also uses a completely free plugin that I used for my Stranger Things, and that is Saber, which is videocopilot.net uh, right here. Great place to go if you're trying to learn After Effects. And this is a 100% free plugin. Absolutely amazing. I I don't even know. Just download it, like, really. It's just so good. You can do so many fun things with it. And like I said, it's 100% free. They're not trying to sell you anything else inside of it. That's just how videocopilot.net is. So that's really all this is. It's just these two elements put together with a little bit of audio, and it creates this cool audio circle. And I mean, this thing is just based off this mask, this circle mask. So you could have it do a wave. You could even have it somehow write your name, maybe? I don't know. But you can do a lot of really neat things with it. So let's just get started. It's it's pretty simple. Just go up here into a new composition. Uh, mine's just 1080p, just right off the bat. Nothing special about this comp. I'm going to go into Layer, New, and then down here to Solid. And then we're just going to create a solid. The color does not matter here. We're then going to go into Saber. Just go into your effects and search for Saber. It's under the Video Copilot tab after you install the Saber plugin. And then just drag it and drop it on your footage. And now you'll see we have this Saber here, but it's not in a circle. And that's really easy to fix. Go up here into your Ellipse tool, go to make sure it's selected, then go to the center of the comp, and then just drag outward. And then now what you want to do is as you're dragging, so as we're dragging around, we want to hold Control first, and that's going to make it come from the inside instead of from the anchor point down to a direction. So it's going to expand from its center. And then we're going to hold shift as well. And that makes it a perfect circle. So we're just going to expand it to, I don't know, right about there. Make sure that you release the click before you release the buttons. Otherwise, if you release the buttons first, it'll release those properties that we had. And you'll end up with like ellipse down here. So now we have this beautiful circle working for us right here. And if we just go ahead and go into Customize Core in our Saber Effects over here, and then just go into Layer Masks, suddenly it just attaches itself to the layer mask. Really, really neat, really simple. So what I did to make the effect that I created was I just went down and I hit Portal as the preset and then just basically made the halo size a little bit bigger. And that's it. That's all I did with this. I mean, you can do so many cool things on this. Um, there are just so many different presets that you can start from and then completely and totally make your own from just working with all these effects right here. But we're going to go with Portal, like I was saying, bring the halo size back up. And then this is what I used. So then click on this comp, not comp, but the piece of footage right here, and then click Control D at the same time, and that just duplicates the piece of footage so that now we have two of these going. And we can help go ahead and hit Screen right there. And you can see, like, I could change the color. to. We can do, like, fun color things and learn some color theory. What is, you know, red and blue create? It creates purple. But that's not what we want to do. We're actually going to go into this top layer, and we are just going to delete Saber straight out of it. The reason we want to do that is because we are going to go ahead and drop audio spectrum onto it. Now, the reason we duplicated this instead of just creating our own layer, uh, a new layer, is because when we go to audio spectrum, we want the path to be mask one. And the, what that's going to do is mask one was this mask, our circle, that made the circle right here. When we duplicated it, it copied the mask as well. So when we apply the mask here, it's going to apply the audio spectrum in a perfect circle that fits our bottom layer. Pretty simple technique, and it makes it work perfectly. So we're in our audio spectrum right here. And now let's go ahead and just boost up those. Uh, let's go with the maximum height a little bit. And oh, actually, first, we need some audio. So let's go grab audio, drop it into our comp right here, and then go back to back into our audio spectrum. And under audio layer, we're going to go ahead and we're going to select number three right here. And you can see some audio layers coming up here. We can increase the bands. Um, yeah, like maybe. 
right around there where we can still see the bands, but they're kind of like, they're making shapes now instead. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go down to side options and just choose side B. It just makes it so it's all on the outside of the circle instead of the inside of the circle. Then we're gonna make sure the maximum height goes up and you'll notice something weird. It cuts off in a square around here. I'm not entirely sure why it does that, but we can fix that really easily. We're gonna go into our mask and then we're just gonna increase the feather. That's all you have to do. I have no idea why it does that, but that is the quick fix, and now we can just work with any height that we want. So we're going to go ahead and first change the color. Going to make it blue, going to make our outside color blue as well. So now it matches with this, and then we're going to make, let's see, the thickness a little more. Just a, yeah, a little, just add a little color in there. Maximum height. Yeah, it looks right, pretty good right around there. And then let's go ahead and just add a glow to it. And this glow is going to tie it together. It's so subtle, but it's really the factor that's going to tie it together. We're going to add some intensity to it. And then we're going to lower the radius down a little bit so it's closer to the, the circle. And why it ties it together is because it adds a common element. This is basically an element of only glow. So if we add some glow to this, it adds a, a junction where they both share something and both manipulating light space. And that way, it looks like it's one element instead of two elements added onto each other. And you notice this a lot when we get to the changing color effect. So let's go down, let's go back up to our audio spectrum, and we're going to bring this start frequency up to, let's go 7,000. So that kind of like really just stretches it around this thing. And then we're going to go start frequency. We're going to click that little stopwatch so we create a keyframe. And then by the end of it, we're just going to bring it down to 4,000. And that creates this spinning sort of effect. You can see it spinning around the edge like that. And you'll notice it it's making that horribly slow sound, and that's because it's trying to render it. This is pretty intensive on your computer, so it's going to take a little bit of render strength. We're gonna increase those maximum heights just a little bit more. And then we're gonna add my favorite thing. And let me just make sure that I have the exact number here, 53 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and go into here and we're gonna add some hue interpolation at 53 degrees. What this does is it adds a little bit of hue variance, um, color changing as it goes around. So you'll see this. <laughs> see that the color changes just a little bit as it moves around the edges, which is pretty neat. And yeah, we need to make this, the heights, even taller. Let's make them 10,000. Let's make them, let's make them 20,000. <laughs> 20,000 is a little too high. <laughs> Frequency bands. Yeah, this is all just sort of touching, you know, doing little touch-ups here, a little touch-ups there. Maybe it works, it needs a little bit more color variance on this one. And there you have it. Um, the rest of it is just sort of going through here and manipulating these variables back and forth until you find something that fits with you. For me, it was all of these settings. Uh, everything that like perfectly works over here. Um, so I want like a, a thicker, sort of a, a better thickness, which actually is probably a good idea because see how it's adding that glow? Remember I was saying the glow ties it together? So I went with like a five, and you'll see that the glow really actually does add the element that I was looking for there. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah. Then yeah, that's basically the effect. It's really simple, just add the audio spectrum and you can do really anything you want. And it's it's these two things are really powerful in that you could create like an intro with this. You could have your name of a you know YouTube channel come up here or something. Um, you could have a music video. You could, I don't know, VFX a shot of like a screen and like um, maybe a boombox screen and put like this back into it, except just make it a line. Tons of possibilities. Thanks everyone for joining me for this tutorial, uh, this little ex exploration of some of the cool tools of After Effects. If you like, uh, see more Adobe content like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you've got any questions or comments or maybe suggestions for future tutorials, leave those in the comments below. And until next time, guys, see ya.